For our first activity, you're going to cut out three larger circles and a bunch of smaller circles out of red, yellow, and green paper. You will set up a line of smaller circles for each student playing this game. The children will take turns throwing something onto the larger circles to land on a color. Once they land on a color, they will move their card to the next available color that they landed on. They will take turns doing this until one of the children is the winner by reaching their car all the way to the end of their circle track. The next activity is a letter recognition game. For this activity, you're going to cut out the bodies of a car and then cut out circles for wheels. On the car you will put the uppercase letter and on the wheels you will put lowercase letters wheels. and try and match them to their correct uppercase letter until all of the cars have two wheels. Alright for my first idea this is a guessing game. You will collect any type of cup or container that you have around or available and you will hide the cars either one or multiple under these cups. Now the children will take turns guessing what cup the car is under. And then you will have them hide their eyes again, switch them around, and just keep playing this game for as long as you'd like. Our second activity is something you will have to set up maybe ahead of time, or if you want the children to do it, give them the supplies that they need to complete this project. You will cut toilet paper tubes in half, tape them together, and then once the track is completed, you will tape the track to either the wall or children will just hold it up into the air for the cars to slide down. This provides a lot of fun for the children in your classroom or at home. My first idea is a gross motor game, which you know, red light, green light. To make this a little bit easier for the children to play, I took red, yellow, and green circles, cut them out of construction paper, and taped them to popsicle sticks. This way, if you're at a far distance from the children, you don't have to shout as much because you have the visual for them to see. This is a great way for them to practice direction following. My next activity is to create a parking lot and use cars to match letters. For this parking lot, I used Canva to create my parking lot using simple lines, and then I also put stickers on my cars and the parking spaces. On the parking spaces, I put uppercase letters, and on the cars, I put lowercase. So the children will practice matching the upper and lowercase letters by parking the car in the right parking space. Our first art project is a stop sign using torn paper. For this project, you will need a stop sign coloring sheet, or I used Canva to create my stop sign, and red paper. The children will rip the paper into smaller pieces and then glue the red paper on the stop sign to create their stop sign art. Our second activity is something you will prepare ahead of time, but it is a great name recognition activity. You will cut out squares that will look like a truck. You will write the letters of the child's name on each square and cut out circles for the wheels. Now, you can do this either just on the table where you can practice it over and over again, or if you wanted to create a piece of artwork, you could do this on a piece of paper. For a piece of paper, you would have to cut squares that are a bit smaller to fit on that piece of paper. The children will take the letters and put them in order to write their name, and then glue them down on the sheet of paper along with the wheels. Alright guys, for my first art project today, it is going to be somewhat of a free art project. You will give the child a black sheet of paper and some chalk. You will instruct the child to try and draw some roads on this sheet of paper. Now you might have to demonstrate it for them ahead of time, or they might be able to do it on their own. What they will do is create their own roads using that piece of chalk. Once they're done, they can take a car to practice driving on the road. Our second art project is a hot air balloon art project. For this art project, you will use a coffee filter or a circle cut out of paper towel, something that's going to absorb the water. To start this project, you will put a little bit of food coloring in a small amount of water, and then you will use a dropper to color your circle. Once it dries, you will have them glue that, a small piece of paper that you have shaped into the basket, and maybe some yarn or ribbon to make the strings on the air balloon. 
You will glue that all down onto a sheet of paper and the child can draw people in their basket if they want. For your writing center, I created a sheet of paper that they could trace the lines of an airplane in the sky. To create this paper, I used Canva and used some of their images on there. Now with Canva, you can sign up for a free educator account if you are an educator, but if not, or if you want to use some of the other resources that they have that are not available, you can sign up with a pro account. For this worksheet, the children will trace the lines the airplanes made in the sky. For your reading and or writing center, you can create roads using letters. Now I made a letter shape out of a dark sheet of paper, and then you can either have your children trace the lines on these letters, or you can do it yourself ahead of time using chalk. Once they're traced, the children can practice how the letters are shaped by driving their cars on those letters. And lastly, two book suggestions that I have for you today are the books Trucks and One, Two, Three, V, V, V. So for my home center, my idea is to create some stores that a child can visit by car. Now, in another transportation video, I shared with you how I would create a car out of a cardboard box. You can check out that video here. Once you have this car done, you can set up stores so the children can drive in their car to visit and maybe purchase things or just to visit and get in and out of the car throughout the home center. For your block center, to make it a more transportation themed block center, you could throw in your block center some dump trucks or some other kinds of Hot Wheel cars or things like that. But also I would throw in a train set with a lot of different shapes of train track that they could build with while they're in that center. All right guys, I have two ideas for your sensory center that you can do with a transportation theme. The first idea is to create a cotton ball tub and put play airplanes into your tub to make it seem like the airplanes are flying through the sky and the clouds. Now with this one, you also might wanna put in some cups and scoops, maybe some shovels, so that the children can also just scoop and play with the cotton balls as well. My second idea can be either done in a tub or just on a table. For this sensory play, ahead of time you will cook some spaghetti noodles. Give the children the noodles to create roads on a dark sheet of paper, and then also give them some cars to drive throughout those roads. Thanks for watching those two sensory themed ideas on transportation. If you liked this video or if you have any other suggestions, leave me a comment letting me know what those suggestions are. I would love to hear your ideas as well. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.